Welcome to Zoo Tracks. I'm Zoo Director Bill Gerstunde, standing here in front of the new Safari Express station. Uh, you, some of you may have ridden the train here at the zoo, and we had a temporary location for you to board the train. Well, now we have a permanent location, and it's almost finished. Thanks to the generosity of Coca-Cola, the Safari Express station is located on the north side of the entry plaza. Um, it's uh, got a great space for folks to stand in line and wait to get on the train. And when it's finished in the next few weeks, it'll have a top, it'll have fans, it'll have lights, and it'll be a great place to start your adventure on the Safari Express train. For those of you who haven't ridden on the train, the train takes about 10 minutes to go around the Abilene Zoo, and we have a narration that the engineers do talking about the different animals, our conservation programs, and some of the fun and interesting things here at the Abilene Zoo. Uh, the rides are $2 per person, children two and under are free, and we hope you'll all take advantage on your next visit to the zoo, experience it from a different venue aboard the Safari Express train. We're standing in front of the new Pompous exhibit with, which just opened here at the Abilene Zoo. Um, some of you may remember this was the bison exhibit a few years ago. Well now we've recreated a little slice of South America and created the Pompous. Uh, the Pompous is literally the grasslands of South America. So you'll see in this new exhibit um, guanacos and they're a cousin of the llama. You'll also see rias which are one of the four flightless birds. Uh, they're cousins of the ostrich, but they're only about four foot tall. You'll also see the Patagonian Mara, or cavy, and it's a cousin to the guinea pig. So it's a very interesting mix of different species of animals. We've also created a shaded structure, a pergola here, so folks can spend some time, they can read the graphics, they can watch the animals, observe them, and really enjoy this new exhibit that the staff worked very hard on developing. On each side of the pergola are two landscaped beds um, that have a variety of plants that also help to recreate the South American pampas. Uh, one of those plants, of course, has to be pampas grass. And as this grass matures, it'll create a nice, soft visual area for our guests to really relax and enjoy their experience here at the pampas exhibit. Thanks for tuning in to Zoo Tracks, and make sure that you check us out again and see what's new and exciting at your Abilene Zoo.